Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, as you might or might not know, um, this month in The Curious Piano Teachers we're looking at questions. And it is something that we as piano teachers need to be asking clearly and really thinking about the kind of questions we ask because not all questions are equal. So today I want to share with you one particular question. And this is the OR question, A-W-E, and it stands for and what else, and what else. And I first came across this in this uh, form, sort of put over as a strategy, when I was reading a book called The Coaching Habit by Michael Bungay Stanya. Nothing to do with piano teaching. A lot of the best ideas come from nothing to do with piano teaching. Um, and in this book, he talks about this OR question and how powerful it is in helping people to go further in their thinking, rather than us giving the answers all the time, actually by asking the or and what else, we are helping um, people, whether it's pupils or students or other people we're having conversations with, to think more. So rather than them saying to us, well, what shall I do? We actually turn it around and say, and what else could you do there? So there's a few elements to this really that's worth thinking about for the and what else to really work. We as teachers have to stay really curious. Yes, there's that word. We do have to stay very curious and really open and genuine in hearing the answer. I know too often I go, I ask a question and then I'm already on to the next little thing in my head and I'm not really, really listening to the answer. So this afternoon in my teaching, I'm going to make a big effort. I'm going to write it, have it all written out here on the piano. So to remind me that I really need to stay there in the moment and listening to the answer that I get. The other thing about the all question is you can ask it multiple times. So ask it once and what else? So um, and then when you get some sort of response and what else could you do? And what else could you do? Keep asking the question over and over until you have exhausted, and you will at some point, exhaust all the different elements that you could go through. Now, in a 30 minute piano lesson, obviously there is a limit to how far we're going to go with that. And it's up to us as individuals, I think, to make that judgment um, in each lesson with each student. I also think we have to just be a little cautious about when we use this question and the kind of students. I think this is a super question to use with adults and I think also with teenagers they are very capable who've been learning a little while they're very very capable of answering and what else because they understand that we could be talking about tempo, we could be talking about fingering, we could be talking about dynamics I think with younger children, I think primary age children, for example, we might need to guide. And I was thinking about this, how I might do this with my primary age children this afternoon. So rather than just saying, and what else? I might say, and what else could happen with the tempo? And what else could you do with the fingering? And what else could happen with the sound here? And what else could you do to communicate the story better? So they need a little bit more of the context, I believe, of the question actually putting there, because when they're just learning, they don't know what else quite often. But it is a really powerful question. And once you get going on it, you will find that the results are great. We have to stand back. We have to stay curious. We have to stay open and we have to stay genuine. And we also have to know when it's time to move on. That's all our job. So I'm going to be doing my all question this afternoon. I hope you do try it as well and let me know how it goes. OK, that's it for now. Bye bye.